I'm Margaret Ann Wenser, and I meant to do this different, but I want to show you why I'm up at 2 o'clock in the morning. This is the air conditioning. You can't see inside it. I've put up videos of the filters and, and as much as I could of them, all of them in this place. Um, they got mold and mildew and wet through and through. And I'm staying here. I don't guess I will be long. I'd be dead or leave, and I don't know where I'd go. I will show you. Everything's been stripped from me. This is just a few of the things that were boxes that has clothing and some things that some nice people have sent me over the last couple of months. Now I'm going to get back up here. Uh... This auric was sent to me, and it would have certainly helped, but it doesn't work. It's full of, um, I, I've used it for about a day and a half, and it uh, seemed to help. Um, but now then, it's so full of gunk, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Just sit here and run. A point in doing this is I've been putting up here, this is deliberate. Uh, I'm at the Baymont Inn, and Sonny Shaw and the Patels own just about everything around here. It was my understanding they were sent here. The Brits sent them here to try to help me. Uh, I've been here since 86, and I've gone through hell. I'm not going to have any lungs or eardrums or anything left or brain with what they've done to me. I'm allergic to chemicals and uh, toxic fumes. And the only answer is you get away from them. The only, uh, in other words, instead of deliberately putting the chemicals and making me inhale them and getting away with it, uh, you have to stop the fumes from being there. If this were anybody else, this would have, people would have been jailed, sued, bankrupt. Instead, I'm not able to open my mouth and sip, put it up on Facebook and, well, on YouTube. I'm going to show you a few pictures in a minute, but I want to show you me sitting here. This I've been in such hell uh, all night long. I, they moved me from room to room, and I'm left. Uh, they, they're really getting a kick out of this. This has been going on since 86 when I came here, when I could get a place to stay, and when I did, I was run from this motel that they own to another in HUD is no different. That's federal funded. Someone I thought was a friend, uh, two of them, got me in. Well, I filled out an application and then I have got in. I always paid my rent on time. I've paid it here on time. I've been living here a year and a half. Well, since July the 19th of 86, of, uh, excuse me, a year ago. 2017. Uh, I'm going to put up a few pictures in a minute, but this is what I want to say. There's a, a person, a friend, I hope, I think he is. He stepped up to the plate. I won't mention his name, and very few have. They've gone with the uh, people who are doing this to me. The odd thing is the people are doing it to them, too, and they just don't know it or won't admit it. Uh he said something um, in a statement. He said uh, he was trying to help me find a place to live where this wouldn't be allowed. It's not supposed to be allowed anyway, but it was just to say it was a friend of his, a woman my age, and thought she might help. And his statement to me was uh, she wanted to know, well, you know, some, uh, anyway, if I give any background that I ran in a political campaign and about mind control murders and I have no money, I'm pitched down the street, well, where are my two sons? Well, I don't know. I'm crying and trying to find them all these years and can't. And that's why I put it up on Facebook and YouTube. They ask questions and then they get afraid. It's quite simply that. That's what everybody, they want to keep their jobs. If they help me, they're afraid they'll lose them. Uh, or their kids uh, are gotten for traffic or drug, and the law offers them a plea deal that they won't be prosecuted if they'll do certain things for or against me. I want to add this. I had bacterial virus uh, 
pneumonia the first of this year. It never went away. It hasn't had a chance. This place is filthy, and one of the people lived upstairs. It's two stories. He, I'm told had uh, black mold up over their uh, on the inside of their apartment, wherever it is. Well, it is. All you have to do is open, and it's horrifying. Now, I've, just have a place to stay because I've been run from place to place since 86. I've frozen living on the Appalachian Trail. I want to get back to what this uh, person, man, uh, who was trying to help me and saying he would try to get me in with an older friend of his. I mean, he's, I think he went to school with her or something. And, uh, of course, she wants to know why I'm, or anyone, I've been through this before, and they'll drop you like a hot potato. They they fear it, and they don't want any repercussions. They're certainly not going to help me. Now, he made a statement in there that he hoped, after he spoke with her, he hoped that she would understand that it was the government doing it to me. I want you to listen to those words because that's exactly what's been going on. I'm here in this country. The government here is doing it to me. I was kidnapped, and yes, some of my family helped, uh, took down my father, Edward VIII. It was done by the Roosevelts, who was your president, FDR, and his whole family, a bunch of crooks. And Mrs. Roosevelt was even uh, in a, a book that she wrote, biography, I guess. I got a hold of it after I'd already told all this, her connections to the United Nations. Now that I'm losing it here, I guess I'm losing you. It's hard for me to even think. I wonder if I'm going to have a brain after this is all done. Um, let me say this. I was kidnapped in 41, age 2. My father's Edward VIII, who married Wallace Simpson. He never, uh, the double married Wallace Simpson. Excuse me, I'm in bad shape. Let me clue you. They mean to kill me to get me out on a slab. Um, and I lose everything that I got. And some of it is the first nice things, first things I've had. I did get a few things last Christmas, very nice from a relative. Uh, but, um, all in all, I've been wearing four outfits from um, Walmart over two years now. So I've got a few things put back together that some people gave me off of YouTube. And now I'll have to lose, uh, leave them. There's nowhere to go, and how do I get it out of here? Uh, I don't have a car. So this is, I've been a standing joke for all of them. But um, I want to show you this too real quick if I can. This is uh, Edward Snowden. He was the one telling uh, about the government and um, he's in Russia. He was exiled to Russia and you don't even hear about him anymore. Now then, I'm going to let you if this is rambling to you, you should walk in my shoes a second. See if you could do this. Um, let me go back to this. I wrote about mind control murders, which Larry Flint would have been shot by a program shooter. He even says in that that... Um, I know who was responsible for his shooting in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I was living in Marietta at Moonraker Apartments doing the book, trying to tell about mind control, how you can cure an illness or create it, or um, have someone die of cancer or cure it, um, on and on. It's the belief in the Tesla's files went missing or stolen, and um, the Illuminati is the one that had it, probably still does, but anyway, they control everything anyway out of the United Nations. Uh, so let me stick to this if I can, because right now it's hard to even breathe. It's like my whole lungs are blistered. My head, my ears have been uh, already lost. Uh, uh, part of My eardrum burst on this side um, almost a year ago now, when the, the viral, bacterial viral, 
pneumonia. And I never got over it because how can I? It's not, you think it's, I can just walk out the door and get something. Heck no. When I leave here, I'll, if they don't leave me in a casket or something or <laughs> worse, uh, I'll lose what few things I have just trying to get to another place, which is still here in the United States. And the government's doing this to um, Snowden. They're doing it to me. And that's what the man come out and said, plain blank, blank, I can't even talk. The fact that they have been allowed to do this to my family, my sons, God knows where they are, to me, ongoing. And people stand around and they participate in it. They're not going to lose their jobs and their retirement. And to hell with me, their sons and daughters will stay alive and do well. They won't go to jail. This is exactly what's going on, and I can hardly talk. So I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, these feedbacks. What? Are, who are you, you old woman, and all this kind of stuff. I'm talking about your government, the one that brought me over here. Granted, part of mine, uh, own people, uh, relatives helped and kidnapped me. Winston Churchill's not a relative. Um, he um, was... Um, Everybody loved him, Winston Churchill. It was a total lie about he helped take down my father, the um, Archbishop of Canterbury, Cosmos Lang, helped take him down, uh, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, your banking people, Jews, Bilderbergers, and my own Uncle George, the Illegal Six, the Illuminati appointed him when they took my father down with lies and character assassination. He never married Wallace Simpson. She married a double. And um, my father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. She was a school teacher from uh, Madison, Wisconsin. George O'Keefe's my aunt, the artist. So the things they've done to me throughout my life, and I'll soon be 80 years old, but now that I can't, uh, this is so bad. Yesterday, they all know I've been here this long, and I've lived in their motels, because the only other thing was HUD, and the same thing happens there. You wouldn't, uh, it's got to be told, they say, but uh, is it? They can shut it up, the people in power that are doing it, and this is this government. And the letter I got from the FBI back in, um, 79 when I was doing the book, June the 23rd, uh, ongoing investigation, national security involved. Well, what's been going on is the ongoing torture of me and God help where my children, I hope they're safe. And I was telling about the Tesla files and mind control, and that's been ongoing. So they have, I don't know, I give maybe too much credit to some agencies that maybe they help save my life. It's the Brits that help save my life. And some of the FBI, I feel. But the gov this is the government that's doing this to me, and the people stand around and walk away. They can't walk fast enough like Noe, the FBI agent I met up in Grotto's when I still had that. A hustler car couldn't afford the gas, so I'm pumping gas and living in grottos and working in a convenience store. And um, he came in and uh, he had retired up there, no, he, I don't know if it's his real name, but I think it is because I can remember my husband and he being together in Huntsville, Alabama, when my husband worked for Brown Engineering, the space, that's the space industry. And here he is now, all these years later, up in Grottos. This is uh, in 84 and 85. He comes into the store, and he's retired up in, there in that quaint, meeting him again. Well, he was a good guy as far as I know, but he said to me one day, he said, uh, they, meaning the FBI, have made it so ludicrous. People know you're telling the truth, but it gives them the chance to help her walk away. Well, they can't walk fast enough. Recently, like I say, I, uh, some friends over the media gave me some nice things. The first I've had, except last year, a, a relative sent me a few things. And um, right now I'm so sick, I, I won't be able to live. I honestly wonder. They know here not to 
put fumes or anything, but they've deliberately done it. it it's a joke. But yesterday when they came in to bring me some linen and vacuum once a week, I pay weekly what I can, I pay weekly what everybody else pays weekly, and it's hard for me to do. But he, I, it didn't dawn on me what he was doing because they have cleaned the room before and I had no problem with it. Uh, now I've had problems with them coming in, Your main, they get to the maintenance. And I know what people do with this, it's sad. Because somehow, uh, when they're doing it to me, they can do it to you. But he was spraying something out of a like a whisk bottle or one of those spray uh, one of the sprays. He was doing that all on the carpet, and I thought, well, it must be okay. So I moved so he could come back uh, past me there at the window. So he sprayed around the air and heating right around the bottom of it and on it. So from then on, it was bad enough, but now then, it's holy hell. I don't know if I'll have lungs. I've been up all night. i got to go to the doctor today because I've got something up here that might could turn into cancerous. And then I come back here in the shape I'm in, and they don't intend to stop because there's no law to lock them up and make them stop. Um... So this has been deliberate, using my illness to, it's killed me. And my life, what do you call the life I've led? It's torture. So what I make, I'm going to show uh, this too if I've got time. Um, this is uh, what a preacher sent up when I lived up on the mountain and the cold and the freezing and everything, or a um, church down here in travel. It's called implantable biochips. This is what I was writing about without knowing that it was uh, talking about the end times. Uh, I was talking about putting chips in people and heart bypasses or one of the doctors I worked for had and you can control, he's head of a corporation, you control his uh, thought process or, or decision making. And um, I'm trying to get it in. And then, of course, program people to go out and shoot, like in Virginia Tech. How do you think all these mass murders are being done? And then they end up shooting themselves. They're programmed to, just like Mark from Ork was programmed to kill himself. It's murder by mind control. But anyway, I never knew that this was part of the Bible till they sent it up there to me, the end times. The biochips will be the agency by which all financial transactions are registered. Without it, if you don't take it, you can't get food or buy anything. It's called Project Lucid and it talks about revelations. And what I had been writing about back in 76, 78... Timothy McVeigh told everybody he had Chip put up his buttocks by the U.S. Army. He went on to be put to death for bumming of the Murray Federal Building in Oklahoma City. So this is what I was writing about before this was ever in print. Now, this is my dad, Edward VIII. He never married this American spy. He's married to a beautiful lady. They lied because he wouldn't take orders from the Illuminati that took him down and replaced him with my uncle. This is Roosevelt. Uh, Roosevelt appointed Joe Kennedy as ambassador to England in '36 when my father became king for the sole purpose of taking him down with the... Uh, Rockefeller's Rothschild.